finally figured it out. Uh, all of this harkens back to a General Motors worker that I once knew at the tattoo shop. Used to work for General Motors. And obviously, you know, American. This is why I don't buy. I love the United States of America. Hooray, great. Um, there's not much stuff made in America anymore. Uh, the reason, A, for labor costs in China. We all understand that part. The other nasty reason, you know, there's cheap labor in Asia, but there's still lots of really awesome stuff made in Germany. There's, like, not much awesome stuff made in America anymore because we've become a nation of dumbasses that think that uh, instead of actually learning how to build stuff, that uh, we should all go to college and get a degree in English Lit. You know, I wasted many years in college myself, so, <clears throat> yeah, I am one of those people. Um, although mine was not in English Lit. <laughs> um, so we don't make anything anymore. We just think that everybody should go to college and just, like, learn uh, altruistic things. Anyway, this General Motors worker talked about the last month of his... I, you know, I was, I'm going to quit General Motors, so... The last month of his work, what he would do is he'd take empty beer cans and soda cans and he'd stick them in the doors when he was building the, the cars. And uh, what that would do is it would cause a rattle, like when the driver is driving the car. I mean, they'd, they'd have their cars, like, serviced for a rattle and they could never find what the source of the... You know, there's a rattling beer can inside the... You know, that sort of philosophy. I finally figured out this perfect Star Trek. I, I'm not a hardcore Star Trek fan. Um, I've seen most of Star Trek stuff. Um, I, fi <laughs> I finally figured it out, like... Uh, uh, who's what, and like, you know, this camera's made in Japan, unfortunately Nikon doesn't make uh, cameras in Japan anymore. Fuji still does, thank God for that. Let's hope Fuji continues to do that. They're good cameras. They're upper-end cameras. I finally figured it out. <clears throat> the American builders, and this is no slant against Americans, okay, so you need to laugh. Have a sense of humor, for God's sake. The Americans are like the drunken Klingons. Yeah. <laughs> Of when it comes to building stuff, it's like, ooh, that's made in America. Yeah, some good stuff is made in America still. Um, you know, I'm proud when I see something that's really well made in America. There just ain't much of it anymore. Like the Balsy Buff stuff's made in America. That's awesome. You know, it's favorite stuff in the world. Money be damned. That's it. But there just ain't much of it anymore. Um, so the drunken Klingons are the Americans. Um, now the Japanese. It, uh... Hi! <laughs> the Japanese are like Vulcans, okay? <laughs> They've got their slide rulers, you know, like when you turn 15, and, you know, you got a slide rule. You know, if you're praising somebody, this is not an insult, right? Is it? You know, if you see if you're actually complimenting somebody. So, you know, chill the hell out, okay? Yeah, slide rule, you know. I want something made by a Vulcan with a slide ruler or a ruler, you know? So, those are the Japanese. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> the Chinese, the kind of the same as the Russians are. Russians and the Chinese are the same. I lived in Russia. I I know the Russians really well. Um, the the Russians outsource it to the Chinese. The Chinese are the Ferengi. Yes, yes, the Chinese are the Ferengi uh, because whatever it is that uh, Japan is making or the United States is making, they will figure out how to make it cheaper, how to make it out of plastic. If it was made out of metal, for damn sure we're gonna make it out of injection molded plastic. We're going to pay really cheap wages for people to make it. So <clears throat> this is a generalization, but still a truism. So, um, yeah, the the Chinese manufacturer stuff is, uh, are, those are the Ferengi. This is, uh, f f <laughs> this is the planet, what did they call the planet the Ferengi live on? Planet Ferenginar or something? <laughs> so those are the Ferengi. The Ferengi are like... Yeah, everybody loves this thing, so what we're going to do is we're going to make it cheaper, we're going to make it out of plastic, and we're going to hire cheaper waged people to build it. Yay! Cheaper plastic and uh, really low-wage labor to build it. Yeah! <sighs> yeah. You know this is accurate. You know this is accurate. <laughs> it's like it's like hey it's made in china i mean made in japan but like hey this is made in japan right here it says made in japan and then someone's like oh, this feels like plastic yeah it's made in china <laughs> you know that's true and they're the germans you know there are there are there are some nice german-made stuff I, yeah you know i'm half german 
So I, I'm pretty sure that since I'm half German, I, I can't make fun of the Germans. Who are the Germans? Yeah, uh, yeah, I finally figured it out after like two seconds of forethought. The Germans are the Romulans. <laughs> the Germans are the Romulans bent on domination. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> if anybody knows Star Trek, they know exactly what I'm talking about in this video. So you got the Americans are the drunken Klingons. Uh, the Japanese are the Vulcans with rulers. <clears throat> it's like, yay, it's made in Japan. Um, <laughs> the, the, the plastic stuff that is usually copied, you know. The, the patent, you know, it originally was not made in China. Uh, yeah, the, the, that's the, that's uh, the planet uh, where the Ferengi are. We're going to make it cheaper out of plastic. And the Germans are the Romulans. <laughs> the Germans are the Romulans. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't laugh at this video, then you don't have a sense of humor, and I've never trusted anybody in life that does not have a sense of humor. And there's nobody that I've made fun of more in these videos of mine other than myself, okay? So chill out, have a laugh, don't be uptight, pull the cracker out of your... That's an American saying, that said, pull the cracker out of your... That means you're really uptight and, uh, you know, really uptight. You know, I am uptight enough, and I meet people that are like more uptight than me. I'm like, God, I mean, how do you, you know? I thought I was uptight. Um. Anyway, <laughs> laugh more. Life is short. Laugh more. Go out, take pictures. I'm gonna be out taking pictures later this evening. People are like, you're always sitting behind that desk. No, I'll be out taking pictures here in a very short period of time. Okay, bye. <laughs>